Hey everybody, this is Michelle with Creative Operation and I have a project I wanted to share with you. This is going to be my last Christmas project of the year and I'm going to do a tutorial on how I created it uh, at a later date. It'll come in the new year, but I wanted to show you what I did. So this is not only um, a new kind of idea that I did that I wanted to share with you, but also I smashed some stashes. So. I had gone through my stuff. I've been starting to do my craft room clean, which is something I've been needing to do and been talking about in my hashtag crafty goals 2023 videos. And I am happy to say that I'm going to be doing that again for next year. So we're going to have a hashtag crafty goals 2024. And uh, we got some new people coming into the group and we're going to do a focus on, you know, uh, smashing our stash. And so that's what I was trying to do. And so I had started this a little while ago and I decided today was the day I was going to uh, finish it. I'm on vacation now for Christmas. And so I was like, today's the day I'm going to do it. So it started off because I had some papers left over from simple stories that I have used to make some projects. And I had a few left over and I wanted to do something with the pages. And so that's where this started. So I ended up smashing everything that I had for this. Um, plus I went through my Christmas basket of papers and I had leftovers from a December daily that I made back in 2017. I did, um, Twas the Night Before Christmas Volume 1 and Volume 2 with A Perfect Christmas and then Dots and Stripes and I had all these leftovers and they've been sitting here since 2017. So I dug those out and I used those. I also had some stickers in my stash from 20 or excuse me 2004 2004 sandy lion stickers and then i had some joanne craft essentials now these two were given to me uh by my uh, bff jackie and i've had those in my stash for just a little bit and i thought they worked perfectly with this so i ended up like wiping all of this out okay so all of this is done i took care of it let me show you what it looked like when i started decorating So now this is the final product. So I ended up making this really cute, it, it kind of started off as a junk journal idea, but ended up being kind of more than a junk journal, I guess, but it's it's still, the concept is the same. And I definitely will do a tutorial on how I put it together um, again in the new year. So on the cover here, I used some of the chipboard stickers that I had, and um, I wasn't really happy with the Hello December on the front, so I just went ahead and covered it. And what I did was I layered a whole bunch of chipboard stickers that I loved. And I just kind of made this collage. I bumped it up with foam tape. And then I did put some stickers kind of underneath to give it a really nice dimension. Um, the back looks like this. All I did was add a sticker here to the back of that. And then I'll show you what I did. So on the inside, um, here I have a pocket that I created out of the pattern paper and I just did a kind of a simple little envelope thing and then I put in some pieces. So this is a uh, journal card. This is a sticker that I backed on some cardstock that I had and I did actually make that into a booklet. So that tucks into the pocket here and then it's adhered on the three sides so that you could use some um, journaling cards. This is a sticker that I put on a piece of the leftover cardstock that I had from that um, December daily book that I had made. And I just made a little tag booklet out of that. And then these all just kind of poke back in here. Added stickers. Here I've got a little page flip and um, I just put stickers on there to decorate that. Over here I have yet another page flip. Um, here's a journal card with a little chipboard sticker that I did thin out to create a little um, decoration here on the top. Did it so that it was a pocket, added that. And then um, sticker and a chipboard sticker here with some twine. So then, but this opens up. I added more stickers up here and then this is attached so that there's a pocket. And then I used a journal card and I made a tag. So a lot of places to put photos, a lot of places to put you know, journaling and things like that. Here's a pocket here, um, journal card, and then I used some of the leftover pattern paper just to make a little photo mat. Um, I was trying to use up everything that I possibly could and sticker here. Here's some of those sandy line stickers that I had um, from, what was it, 2005, I think it was, and then I added a sticker from the paper collections there. I thought everything matched too, so I was I was really super happy with how this was working. These are the dimensional stickers from the Joann's Craft Essentials that I had. 
Um, again, more um, just little journal cards, little booklets that I used um, to create something. I added some stickers to this page, but then I left this as is. Here I made a belly band, so there's a bigger piece here, and I created a journal card, or not a journal card, a photo mat card with just stickers and some of the leftover papers. And that just slips under here, and then the belly band is made so that there's a pocket in it as well. And again, more journal cards, and this one I backed on pattern paper. Some of the journal cards from that collection kit were on the back of the... Um, the branding page, you know, the, the the title page or whatever in the pack. So I had to cover the backs of them with something. <laughs> so I did that. Um, here's stickers and I layered some of the chipboard stickers on top and I thought that turned out really pretty. Here's one of those hidden paper clips and I just did this one to make the side here. So underneath the paper clip is a photo mat. And then in here I used stickers on the cardstock that was left over and I just created little um, tags to go in these cute little pockets out of the stickers added a sticker here and then there's also on this paper clip a pocket over here so that's a hidden um, paper clip with pockets and on the other side it has pockets as well so I have tag here and I have tags here this was a journal card that I actually was using the back side of this paper and then Santa Claus was kind of peeking out the front. So um, I just kind of kept his uh, picture there and I added the little ornaments and then these were just stickers I backed on cardstock here. And then again here and here. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. I'm trying not to. Christmas is in a couple days. I think I'm done. Underneath that paper clip, I did add another photo mat get that in the pocket and just used it with pattern paper and just made that photo mat. Added the Santa Claus sticker here. It was too big for the pages so I just cut it straight and then put it on both sides. Here is uh, one of the Sandy Lion stickers that I had. So I put that there. I thought that was real pretty. Here is a little pocket made out of the pattern paper and this says laugh and play. And on this paper it was this page here but I had a piece of it so I decided to go ahead and do the laugh and play and then I covered up that part here with that sticker with the with the Santa Claus stamp and then I have the journal cards and one of them is a journal card and one of them is in a booklet so I tucked that there these were some of the Joann's stickers and they had these little wire trees whoops hang on just a second there my TV just went crazy <laughs> And uh, there's a sticker up there. This was a chipboard sticker. I just thinned it out a little bit and put it up there. Um, again, page with a chipboard sticker and a sticker here. Here's another journal card that I made out um, into a pocket. Added a chipboard sticker here and more photo mats. And this one, you could put a picture underneath. So um, like that. Here's another page here. Now this is another one of the flip pages here, but on this one, I. Uh, glued it so that it was a pocket and then inside that pocket oop, that's just one side um, photo mat here and then I just decorated the front of that with some stickers and then the back page here has a nice pocket okay so sticker here some of the sandy line stickers here with the word Christmas and then I um, just cut down a journal card here and backed it on pattern paper added stickers and here's a journal card and then another journal card on a, the back of a, or on a piece of cardstock. And then this is a sticker here. I put it there and then um, just punched a hole and tied some twine in there from my stash. So, um, oh, that isn't the last page. I am so sorry. One more page. So this pocket here, I glued in the center to create two pockets so that your little journal cards won't fall around all over the place. So I did that and, oh, this one here. This one I cut way down. I had one little piece of green left over and I really wanted to use it, so I cut that journal card down um, to make it fit. 
and then there's a journal card there so a um, lot of places to put photos a lot of places to do journaling if you didn't add all of these cards you could you know totally add more photos well you probably still could it does alligator mouth a little bit but I love that look it's just really fun so I'll come back and I will share with you how I put the pages together and um, we'll do a tutorial in the beginning of the year for that and um, I think I'm not sure which paper collection I'm going to use, but I'm going to uh, show you that. So um, thanks for watching this little walkthrough here. I'll be back soon. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas um, and a wonderful Happy New Year. And um, stay tuned because if you're part of Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations, we are having a New Year's Eve hop. So I will have a video that will be um, public and I will have a list of all the other designers that are doing that as well in the description, but I've got a really great project for that. So that's coming up um, either, let's see, on the 30th and the 31st of December. So we're doing a Country Craft Creations New Year's Eve uh, crop, and we're doing um, some video hop stuff. And the theme is summer party game night. So I think you're going to enjoy it. I've seen the projects and they're going to be amazing. So we will see you then as well. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay crafty and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.